and welcome to another purveyor of light photo quick tip uh, today we're going to do a nice uh, introductory tutorial to capture one i know a lot of people have been uh, migrating from lightroom to capture one and uh, you know it's a little bit of foreign territory things are slightly different so it takes a while to get accustomed to things but uh, i thought today we'll do a video just starting out really simple how to get started with the uh, capture one how to import your images so let's go ahead and jump in okay so i already have a, a session open here i need to uh set up a new session so i'm going to go up to uh capture one on the file and you'll notice i have a choice of a catalog or a session okay now let me explain here before we go on catalog is exactly like you would do in uh, lightroom okay whereas you know, you make a catalog right and all your photos get thrown into it right and you manage everything in one simple catalog you can do albums you can do you know whatever you want and categorizing things okay uh we all know as we use lightroom over time our libraries become, you know, enormous. They become hard to manage. Lightroom doesn't do the best job. Uh, it actually slows down the more photos you put into it. And it makes things very cumbersome, in my opinion. So, the other choice we have here is called Session. Okay? And this is my preferred way of using uh, Capture One. A Session is on an on-shoot or an on-event catalog all right very modular okay and with all of us today right we take so many pictures uh you know it takes hard drive space and some of us have external hard drives or backup systems and we you know we got usb drives we got a you know thunderbolt drive and we have some solid state drives and before we know it we we have a half a dozen drives and sometimes we put uh you know we run out of space so uh we put our photos where we can and it becomes a mess to manage um if any of you have worked with lightroom long enough to know uh the minute you start breaking up your catalog and moving part of your pictures on this drive and part of your pictures on an external hard drive you know you become a nightmare where lightroom goes oh, i can't find these photos and then you have to figure out where the particular photos you're looking for are uh, it becomes a mess so i prefer the uh, the session workflow here and capture one does a really good job of making it modular so in other words using sessions you can move them from any drive to any computer and it's everything comes with it your your photos your raws your selects your ratings your outputs right uh, all come together in a package so that you can just move them from computer to computer from hard drive to hard drive uh very modular very clean very easy to manage so let's go ahead and jump in and make a new session so we'll do just like that and i'm just going to call it here it's going to say give me a name for it so i'm just going to call this my Sassoon vacation all right and then it's going to say where do you want it in a location and by default it's putting it in the folder that i keep my hard drive uh, photos at but if you need it you can come in here and select where you need it okay if you put them in your pictures folder that's where you would do it in this case i'm putting it to a external hard drive okay and I'm going to just put it right in there. And so now that's where it's going to be saved. This is what it's going to be called. And you notice here it's making a bunch of subfolders for us. Okay, this is all done automatically. Uh, the first one it makes is a capture folder. The capture folder is just that. It's all our raw files. All our, if you're a JPEG shooter, it would be JPEGs. Um, you could take your memory card put it in the computer and it'll transfer any photos into that capture folder for you all right the next folder is your selects and the selects folder is just that is you know you may go on vacation or um, maybe you're shooting a wedding or an event whatever the case may be and you may have taken 100 photos 200 photos 300 photos maybe even a thousand photos and 
you're not going to sit there and edit a thousand photos and you know you're only going to pick your best shots that you're proud of that turned out well and so you're going to put those in the select folders for editing okay and this way you're not managing you know what's the point of having a thousand images if only 20 of them are good right and that's the whole process and capture one is automating this process for us uh, the next folder it makes is output all right and this is where your outputs go so today what do we do we, i mean we have instagram facebook you know and printing services you, you name it okay so we have multiple out, outputs of our photos wouldn't it be nice if we keep them all together in a modular package called a session right and so therefore all our output folders are going to be put in that subfolder then it also turns around and puts a protective folder called trash this way if you delete something within capture one it doesn't actually put it to the computer trash it actually puts it into the trash folder of the session so you have a chance to recover or from many mistakes okay so once i hit okay it's going to make the new session exactly where we told it to and it's going to make all these folders for us automatically and we hit okay and there we are so we're now looking at a blank screen here we have the the left side here where the menu bar is we have an empty thing saying we have no images we've got nothing in here uh, we have to import our images so can't be easier all the way here on the upper left you have an import and it says what do you want okay so pick the photos you want choose a photo and i'm going to choose my external hard drive just for the demo purposes and move them over here there we go so soon and i know i've been there several times so i'll pick the first trip there and hit okay and there we go the pictures are all being put in and then it's going to say do you do you want them where do you want them imported to right it's going into the session folder uh the subfolder um destination right the capture folder right and it's automatically defaulting to the thing we could back it up if we wish okay if we wanted to import these photos and then make a backup somewhere on another hard drive we could automatically do that there to simply select the backup and then pick the path where you want them backed up for safety purposes uh naming if you wanted to uh, uh format the name you didn't want to use the default names okay uh you could just come in here and have it rename the folders um if you wanted to put any default uh, uh, metadata in at this time, you can most certainly do so. Okay, you want to put your copyright uh, photo in the IPC data, you can do that right here. Uh, if you wanted to have any adjustments, uh, styles, uh, Capture One uh, supports what's called styles, uh, and we'll get to that in a later video. Um, but basically think of them as like profiles in Lightroom okay so we're not going to use any of those things and so we're all good we make sure all our settings are good we include everything and hit import all and now it's importing the images uh, you'll find capture one very very fast okay it imports uh, photos much much faster than Lightroom does and we're just about done here and there we are okay and we have now successfully created a session and we have all our photos here in now for those of you coming from Lightroom and you're not comfortable and go oh my god my images are on the right right I can't deal with it I want my images on the bottom like Lightroom okay so if you don't uh, uh like the pictures on the right side you want it more like a lightroom look 
just simply go up to view okay and then go customize browser and place below and now your pictures are here on the bottom to very very similar to what Lightroom has okay so whatever works for you the one thing you'll find out about uh, capture one everything every menu every module everything is modular and you can set it up to your heart's content to your own customization uh it's extremely uh powerful all right let me put this back because i don't want to uh i think i want to keep things in default all right so so now we have all our photos here right and we could at this point come in and we could star rate them we could say okay i want this is four stars this is two stars i could even uh put colors on them uh you know so forth any ratings i want to do um it can all be done right here if i wish to um and then i could turn around and automatically you know call my photos good ones bad ones and so forth um but the next thing here is now that we have our photos in, okay, now we would be just simply doing our edits and going on from there. Now, I'm not going to cover any of the editing and everything today. We're just covering the import. But let me show you what happened in the background here. We made that session, okay? So I need to turn around and go to that hard drive. And we put it into Capture One, and there is the Sassoon Vacation right there. So it made that fold, folder for us automatically. And if we open that folder up, you'll see that it made the Capture folder, the Output folder, the Selects folder, the Trash folder, everything in there, and all of our uh, tags and uh, star ratings and everything are contained in within this database file here. Now, you'll also notice that the uh, originals are captures, whether they're JPEGs or RAWs, okay? They're all put inside the capture folder, okay? So all our, our pictures are housed here, okay? And the rest of the folders are going to be empty at this point because we haven't done anything else. But you can see how nice this is. Now, uh, if I wanted to take this and move it to another hard drive, I just simply take this folder and drag it and, and drop it on another hard drive. Uh, I can move it around. It's portable. Everything comes with it. My edits, my photos, the RAWs, the selects, uh, output folders. Everything is all self-contained within the, in the module. So it's very easy to mod uh, modulate and control. So there you go. Okay, again, this was just an introductory on how to get your photos into Capture One and a little explanation on how sessions work. So, hopefully, this all made sense. Hopefully, it didn't make it so intimidating. Uh, and believe me, once you get into this and you start using it, you're going to find this secondhand nature. Okay, all right, till next week, you guys take care.